Good evening, folks. We're on the air. It's December 3rd, 2019. It's 9. It's 6.41 p.m. I keep thinking 9. I see 18 there. 18.41 hours or 6.41 p.m. on December 3rd, 2019. This is the Word for Day Part 2 for December 2nd, 2019. The Word for Day Part 2, December 2nd, 2019. Let's go right into the Word of God today. This is December 1st, 2019 at 11 27 p.m. I'm reading my New King James Version Bible. And tonight we're going to talk about Israel's future idolatry. Israel's future idolatry. This is found in the book of Isaiah, chapter 57, verses 1 through 13. Key verse 13. So let's go right into the Word of God today. Isaiah 57, verses 1 through 13. The righteous perishes, and no man takes it to heart. Merciful men are taken away, while no one considers that the righteous is taken away from evil. He shall enter into peace, they shall rest in their beds, each one walking in his uprightness. But come here, you sons of the sorceress, you offspring of the adulterer and the harlot. Whom do you ridicule? Against whom do you make a wide mouth and stick out the tongue? Are you not the children of transgression, offspring of falsehood, inflaming yourselves with gods under every green tree, slaying the children of the valleys, under the clefts of the rocks, among the smooth stones of the stream is your portion. They, they are your lot. Even to them you have poured a drink offering. You have offered a grain offering. Should I receive comfort in these? On a lofty and high mountain you have set your bed. Even there you went up to offer sacrifice. Also behind the doors and their posts you have set up your remembrance. For you have uncovered yourself to those other than me and have gone up to them. You have enlarged your bed and made a covenant with them. You have loved their bed, or you saw their nudity. You went to the king with ointment, and you increased your perfumes. You sent your messengers far off, and even descended to Sheol. You are weary in the length of your way, yet you did not say, There is no hope. You have found the life of your hand, therefore you were not grieved. And of him you have been afraid or feared that you have lied and not remembered me nor taken it to your heart? Is it not because I have held my peace from old that you do not fear me? I declare your righteousness and your works, for they will not profit you. When you cry out, let your collections of idols deliver you. But the wind will carry them all away, a breath will take them. But he who puts his trust in me shall possess the land and shall inherit my holy mountain. Okay, folks and family, the next entry in my journal at 11.30 p.m. on December 1st, 2019, we're going to talk about healing for the backslider. That's healing for the backslider. This is also found in the book of Isaiah, chapter 57, verses 14 through 21. Key verses 15, 20 through 21. So let's go to the book of Isaiah 57, 14, and 14 through 21. And one shall say, heap it up, heap it up, prepare the way. Take the stumbling block out of the way of my people. For thus, so the for thus says the high and lofty one, who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. For I will not contend forever, nor will I always be angry. For the spirit would fail before me and the souls which I have made. For the iniquity of his covetousness I was angry and struck him. I was hid and was angry. And he went on backsliding in the way of his heart. I have seen his ways and will heal him. I will also lead him and restore comforts to him and to his mourners. I create the fruit of his lips. I create the fruit of the lips. Peace. Peace to him who is far off and to him who is near, says the Lord, and I will heal him. But the wicked are like troubled sea are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest whose waters cast up mire and dirt. There is no peace, says my God, for the wicked. Okay, folks and family, at 23.33 hours, that is 11.33 p.m. on December 1st, 2019, we're going to talk about fasting that pleases God. Fasting, that means going without food. Fasting that pleases God. This is found also in the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verses 1 through 14. Key verses 6. 8 through 9, 11 through 12, and verse 14. So let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verses 1 through 14. 
Cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet. Tell my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me daily, and delight to know my ways. As a nation that did righteousness, and did not forsake the ordinance of their God, they ask of me the ordinances of justice, they take light in approaching God. Why have we fasted, they say, and ye have not seen? Why have we afflicted our souls, and ye didn't take notice? In fact, in the day of your fast, you find pleasure, and exploit all your labors. Indeed, you fast for strife and debate, and to strike with the fist of wickedness. You will not fast as you do this day, to make your voice heard on high. Is it the fast I have chosen, a day for the man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head like a bulrush, and to spread out sackcloth and ashes? Would you call this a fast, and an acceptable day to the Lord? Is this not the fast I have chosen, to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, that you break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, and that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out? When you see the naked, that you cover him, and not hide yourself from your own flesh? Then your light shall break forth like the morning, your healing shall spring forth speedily, and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry, and he will say, Here I am. If you take away the yoke from your midst, the pointing finger, the pointing of the finger, and speaking wickedness, if you extend your souls to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then your light shall dawn in the darkness, and your darkness shall be as a new day. The Lord will guide you continuously, and satisfy your soul, and rock, and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden, and a spring of water whose waters do not fail. Those from among you shall build the old waste places. You shall raise the foundations of many generations, and you shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets to dwell in. If you turn away your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath the light, the holy day of the Lord honorable, and shall honor him not doing your own ways, nor finding your own pleasure, nor speaking your own words, then you shall delight yourself in the Lord, I will cause you to ride on the high hills of the earth, and feed you with the heritage of Jacob, your father. The mouth of the Lord has spoken. Okay, folks, on December 3rd, 2019, that's today at 2.24 p.m. This has been going on in my head for a few days now, about two or three days. There is no fruit on these trees. There is no fruit on these trees. It's almost like taking an axe to the base of them and chopping them down and casting them into the fire. But there is no fruit on these trees. This is found in the book of Habakkuk, chapter 3, verses 17 through 19. Key verse 17. Habakkuk, chapter 3, verses 17 through 19. Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the souls, yet I rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like deer's feet, and he will make me walk on my hind hills. He will make, and he will make me walk on my high hills. To the chief musician with my stringed instruments. Okay, folks and family, that's the word for today, part 2, December 2nd, 2019. The word for today, part 2. December 2nd, 2019. Everyone have a great day. God bless you all and everything you do. God loves you and so do I. Remember, Jesus is coming very soon. Get ready for his return. I thank you all very much for your time. Have a great day, a blessed week, and I'll talk to you later on the next video upload. Bye-bye for now.